simulation pro uh, programs, I have a little bit of a problem with. I actually own a simulation program, <laughs> having said that. And I reserve it for a very small minority of patients. The reason is, simulation programs do not simulate surgery. They simulate the surgeon's vision of the outcome, but they don't simulate surgery. And the problem I have with those morphing programs and simulation programs is that the patient is often confused between the two. They're confused between what is a simulation of the surgical outcome and what is a simulation of what the surgeon's vision of the surgical outcome is. And the morphing programs only show the latter because there's no program in the world that's going to recreate surgery itself. They're all programs that the surgeon manipulates to make look as he or she wants it to look. So I use morphing and simulation programs when a patient understands. If you came to me and said, I understand that the simulation program isn't an actual simulation of what happens after surgery, but I want to know what you're thinking. I want to know what you think my outcome should look like. If the patient has that understanding, if you're clear on that, then I'm happy to use that, that program. But really, I, I think otherwise, there's the danger of the patient having unrealistic expectations because they're not going under computer morphing. They're going under surgery and the body heals in different ways. And there's a certain amount of unpredictability to every operation. And certainly in rhinoplasty, when we're talking about changes of one, two, or three millimeters, the stakes are high. There's a lot of unpredictability. So once again, I think the best way for a patient to judge the aesthetic mindset, if you will, of the surgeon is for you to see pictures of, of patients, my patients that have been done, and say, oh yeah, I think that's, you know, that looks natural, I like that, or I don't like that. Uh, and this is the reason why I don't like that. That's good to hear too, because then I get a sense of what your expectations are. And if they're realistic and if it's reasonable, then we come to a closer understanding of what we expect the goals to be.